this unassuming house in Fall River, Massachusetts, is where one of the most infamous crimes in American history took place. On August 4, 1892, Andrew and Abby Borden were brutally murdered, and the main suspect, their daughter, Lizzie Borden. This house, now a bed and breakfast, still echoes with the stories of that fateful day. After being acquitted of the murders, Lizzie lived the rest of her life in Fall River, ostracized but wealthy from her inheritance. She passed away in 1927, buried here beside her father and stepmother, a stone's throw from the house where it all happened. Visitors come to her grave, some leaving tokens, pennies, flowers, even hatchets as if seeking answers to the mystery that still haunts us today. Looks like a lot of people have been visiting you. Elizabeth, Lizzie. We're gonna go visit your house. Hope you don't mind. Before we go on the tour of the house, we decide to stop off at a local brewery and get food and see what the local town is like that surrounds the house. Gotta get the pizza. Giant chocolate chip cookie. Here's my hand to compare. It's pretty big. We'll be staying here tonight. And at 3.30 we're going on a tour. So we'll be going in soon. I did not film during the tour, but I did take pictures. And I will show those to you now. There's one very interesting one I'll point out later. The house looks much like it did on that August morning in 1892. Lizzie Borden was the prime suspect in the murders of her father, Andrew, and her stepmother, Abby, both found brutally hacked to death with a hatchet. Despite a public trial and mounting evidence, Lizzie was acquitted leaving the case unsolved to this day. Was she truly guilty? Or was there another hand behind these gruesome deaths? As you walk through the rooms, you can't help but wonder what really happened here. Look closely at this image taken inside the Lizzie Borden house. Look at the mirror. Yes, it has damage and strange scratches on it, but if you look at the bottom, it looks like a ghostly face. Is it just the scratches on the mirror? Or is it a ghost? This picture was not altered. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, Spooky Cat Lady here. And we have left the Hawthorne. And now we are in the Lizzie Borden Axe Murder house and we're staying overnight. We just did a tour of the house and now we are in our room, which is the John Morris room. So let's check it out. It's pretty big. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So we're thankful. Last room was a little tight. We have this coat rack. I don't know what's in here. I don't know if it's for our it's use. It's another room. Yeah, it seems to be locked. I might go to another room. Uh, what is that? <laughs> is that a bedpan, maybe? No, that's the cook stuff. So oh. Guys to, uh, <clears throat> hold on. Like, oh. 
so this is our bed. It's only a full size, which sucks. Last time we had to sleep in a full size was at the railroad house, and that sucked. Um, here is, I guess these are our towels. Hand sanitizer, Kleenexes, heater. Hopefully you don't need that, although it has been cold here in Massachusetts. Um, my escape plan, if I don't have enough room to get away from Zach snoring. And this is cool. We got this old, old camera. I don't have a plate to use with it though. What? So sad. And I think this is a portrait of Lizzie. I'm not sure. But there's plenty of her in here. And the rest of the family. And we get this. The corpse of the mother. <laughs> Stepmother, actually. She will be sleeping with us tonight. That will be an experience. And this might be original to the time that everything happened because if you look at this picture the furniture looks assuming this is the real picture from the murder uh it looks the same but that could be a reenactment i'm not sure and this teddy he is ours we got him so he'll be coming home with us now the bathroom we have to share, it is not connected, so we share it with another room. So you come out here, we're on the second floor, and this is the bathroom. So it's, compared to the Hawthorne, this bathroom is much bigger. Shower, double shower, that's fun. One shower, two shower. <laughs> I guess me and Zach could shower at the same time if we wanted to. <clears throat> Plenty of amenities. There's other guests are all chatting. And we all want it to be a fun time. So we're going to let each other in each other's rooms. Check it out. We got a hair dryer, which is good. <laughs> trash. I haven't seen any other trash to cans. <laughs> and... Rules about the shower. So I wanted to get a good look at our roommate here. <laughs> if this doesn't help creep things out, I don't know what will. <laughs> I thought maybe they would take these out once, you know, the tour was over. But nope, she's hanging out. So that will be fun. And Zach's getting cozy in the room. Another peanut butter cup. The last one was pretty good, so I thought I would try another one here in River Falls. Falls River. Falls River. Here, very, very close to the Lizzie Borden. We got some wings. They look pretty good. So we stayed all night in the Lizzie Borden house. And it's decently comfortable. I wish the bed was bigger, but it is as close to period furniture as possible. So that's why it's not. So that's okay. We, we made it through the night. <coughs> I did wake up a few times just because I didn't have much space <laughs> but the shower was great it's probably one of the better showers we had so no complaints there nice and hot nice and strong yay and uh, yeah it was a fun experience um, if you're in falls water or waterfalls falls water it's a fun place to stay. It's different instead of staying in a regular hotel, stay in a murder, a murder house. Why not? So we had fun. The night was fun. We all had our rooms open and all of us went around ghost hunting in each other's rooms. It was a lot of fun. So 
Yeah, if you want something different, you'll definitely get that here. And so I do recommend staying here if you want a different kind of experience. Goodbye, corpse lady. We enjoyed spending the night with you. The mystery of the Lizzie Borden murders may never be solved, but the chilling history of this house continues to fascinate and frighten visitors from all over the world. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, one thing is certain. This house holds onto its secrets, and spending a night here is an experience you won't soon forget. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join our crew of spooky cats for more ghostly adventures, paranormal investigations, and mysterious travel vlogs. See you later, spooky cats.